Pictures. In this video, I'm just going to show you the Stylism plugin. Plugin from Astute Graphics. It can be used to apply drop shadows, blurs, etc., in a very interactive way. Okay, in this one, I'm just going to show you with text and the blur. I'm just going to click that and transform. We're going to do that next. But the blur, virtually all of these, well, all of them can be used duplicated. So you can actually just hold down the shift key and duplicate the the effect. The blur maybe is not so effective with that because all it does is add a blur to a blur to a blur, which is basically a blur. So right, I've got this blur here. And if you actually extend that out a little bit further, it actually becomes virtually you you can't you barely see the text. Now if you actually want to make that sort of dark and again maybe smudge it, maybe make it look you can actually use the transform feature. And I'm just going to go over it live effect again. So just click there. And what this does, it actually adds copies. They're all part of the same unit. So you can't actually modify the individual parts of this transformation, which is a pity. It'd be nice if there was color effects and all those sort of things. But that's something that the, the plugin just doesn't do. And also the underlying plugin as well feature. OK, so going to increase the number of copies. And each one of these will be blurred as well. So you actually all the blur effects are added to all of these copies. And the plugin can now scale. And I'm just going to just scale it slightly. I don't want to scale it too much. So there you are. You can actually see the text has been sort of smudged outwards. And again, you can just, of course, change this around. You can change that another angle. Maybe great for flame effects and flames. You certainly create sort of unusual sort of text blurring up there. Also modify the offset. You don't have to modify the scale. So that can sort of jump outwards. But I, I think it's it works quite nice for smudging text. So if you want sort of very and that's with the scale setting far more than the uh, offset. You want it actually over the text. Okay, so there you have it. You've actually got text with a blur and a transform. It's fairly responsive. The key thing I actually found is when you're actually editing is to keep the lower resolution when editing because the girls in blur for some weird reason the dialogue pops up over and over and over again uh, and that really does slow down actual any work so it's best to have that setting lower resolution when editing one thing i've noticed every time you start up illustrator it's forgotten that so you have to set it each and every time seems to be a problem anyway hope you found this quick run through of the text and blur and transform of interest. Thank you much.